Hey, what's up? Justin Garcia here. Um, we're going to take a look at the Advanced Forms add-on um, and integrating it with PayPal, which comes default with the package. Um, you can see I'm at the dashboard of my Concrete 5 demo site on the Advanced Forms page. And we're going to go ahead and just start by creating a new form. We'll do a basic contact form. Um, actually, let's call it <laughs> PayPal form. Here, I'll just leave my email address as default and create the form. Uh, in order to integrate with PayPal, we've got to go back into the form settings real quickly and make one adjustment under our other settings and just change this under payment gateway, set that to PayPal. Um, you can create other payment gateways. We're not going to look into how to do that in this uh, screencast, but it is possible to do. Uh, but PayPal is the only one that comes default with the add-on. So uh, let's go ahead and save that hop over to our fields page and let's just get one bit of info from the user just so we can have another field in there set that to name and then um, basically the way this is going to in integrate with PayPal is we're going to take certain uh, parts of this form and pass it on to PayPal this is specifically an email address and we're going to pass that as a hidden field which some of you have asked um, in the support and on the forums for this add-on what's the point of this field well this is a very primary purpose of it you can use it for other things but this is one of the ways that I've used it the most personally and what we're gonna do if you're using um, integration with some sort of payment gateway in advanced forms uh, then you'll have this send a payment gateway as option which basically says what are you gonna do with this field how are you gonna send it to the payment gateway in if you have another um, gateway that you're using, you may have other options here. With PayPal, the only thing we can pass it as is a PayPal email, which is essentially the account that the funds are going to go into. So in this case, I'm going to give it to myself. Oops, that does not need to go there. We're just going to call this PayPal email here. Essentially, that can be uh, the label can be anything. The user isn't going to see it. It's going to be hidden. Uh, so it's really just for your descriptive purposes on the back end. Uh, this, the default value is when, where you want to specify the actual value that you're going to pass on to the payment gateway, um, in this case PayPal. So let's save that. We've got it set up. We're sending it as a PayPal email. Let's save that. And um, so the last thing we need now is something to actually sell. And I'm going to set this up essentially so that we're accepting donations. And the way that I'm going to do that, you'll see I've got... Um, some options here for uh, number one price per item so if I'm selling like a t-shirt or something you know that may be fifteen dollars a shirt or whatever the case may be um, in this case in order to set, accept donations you can set it up as just zero and that's what it will enable the um, donations box so start quantity end quantity and increment by those were all if I were selling a particular item let's say I were selling t-shirts I wanted to give them the option to buy between five and ten um, then that's where I could set this up. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to leave this blank, save it. And I believe that's all we're going to need. Let's uh, switch back to the front end of the site and go ahead and add this block to the page. So I've got a PayPal form selected, and I'm just going to add this. Let me publish this. You can interact with it. And let me just put in my name here and I'll give myself $10. And you'll see you'll get, um, and this will work with any payment gateway that you set up with advanced forms, is there's kind of this um, confirmation screen that they'll see before the information is passed to the payment gateway. Um, and this is set up in the code. There's not a way to edit this. Uh, via the CMS but it can be modified in the code and um, you can actually uh, create an override similar to the way you would with core concrete 5 files um, and so that's how this would be modified the text that's here and you can display other values there um, different information that was submitted in the form uh, but that would all be you know kind of more development tools so I'll si see if I can uh, set up a screencast on how to um, set up a uh, payment gateway to integrate with advanced forms so when you go ahead and click pay with PayPal then essentially what it's going to do in this case is redirect to PayPal um, and I'm not going to go all the way through this process but you'll 
you know, they would fill in their information here, pay with PayPal, and then it's a done deal. Um, let me hop back to the site real quick just so we can see how that ends up looking for the user. Go to records and let's look at this form, or I'm sorry, this record that I submitted. You'll see I've got my information here, including the no donation amount of $10. Um, and one thing that it'll tell you is the amount that was charged and the amount that was paid. And depending on how the payment gateway has been set up, uh, if I were to have set up PayPal to redirect back to um, my site, then I could have potentially uh, marked this as paid, but since I don't, haven't uh, set that up, then there's no way to do that. And you can also pass a gateway response when you're developing, so if they have some sort of error code, then it might help you debug that type of thing. Um, but that's essentially how it works. So, you know, this is a working form. If I were to fill this out, then um, everything would be taken care of. So that's kind of a quick, basic overview of how PayPal can be used with uh, advanced forms.